Hi everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I'm making a, a video that's a little bit different today. It's more of a motivational video and kind of a, a push for you to do something on your own. Um, and so, you know, my recommendation or my, you know, what I want people to get motivated to do is obviously to be better, <clears throat> right? If you're using ground penetrating radar, um, here's a little technique that I used um, for years, right, in order to get better when I was learning geophysics and I was a beginner and I was using it on um, very specific projects. I was using it on, on, on archaeology projects at the time. Um, but he, here's, here's my little kind of secret, all right, in order for you to get better, to really just to make your growth as a GPR practitioner, you know, more rapid, here is my suggestion to you. And the suggestion is read something, read something this week about GPR that's unrelated to the industry that you generally work in. Okay, so if you're in utility locating, read something in archaeology. If you're in archaeology, read something in agriculture, right? If you're in concrete scanning and construction, uh, read something in geology, right, about stratigraphy. Read something different that you otherwise would not normally read this week. Read it this week, okay? The reason I'm telling you to do this is it's going to take you to a different place, okay, than you are currently in. When we work, we work within this sort of little, you know, we, we, we kind of have blinders on and, you know, you can't really see to the sides of you and you get really focused on what you do. But I promise you, opening up your mind and learning something about GPR from a different industry, a case study from somewhere else, right, not your typical industry, not the one that you work in, but from something completely unrelated, is going to help you reframe your understanding of your own work. And I'm going to give you a little example. Um, early in my career, I was doing a lot of locating of graves using, uh, not, not even using ground penetrating radar necessarily, I was using um, electromagnetic induction, or which most people typically call conductivity. And, uh, and I wanted to really understand that technology. And so the thing that I did, which helped me become, you know, somebody who, who I think is one of the best out there uh, who, who does grave detection, um, you know, definitely I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty top. But one thing, I, I think the reason I'm there, one of the reasons I think I'm there is because I started reading widely about electromagnetic induction. And I started reading case studies, for example, where researchers were measuring variation in the salinity of, of water, right, in rivers. And so it was near the coast. Some uh, of the, the salt water was coming upstream. And so their sort of question was, well, how is it affecting agriculture? How is it affecting plant life? Can we identify, you know, the <clears throat> cline is what it's called, right, where the salt water kind of actually becomes fresh water? And so reading things like that helped me understand how the technique responds to different environments. It helped me understand how shifts in the soil are going to affect it when I'm looking for graves. Right? This was, like I said, earlier in my career. And so one of the best things I think I ever did was read widely about each of these different geophysical techniques. And I'm telling you to do the same thing this week with GPR. Go read something that you otherwise wouldn't read. Go onto Google. And input in, you know, GPR4, and then put something that's not your typical uh, industry, right? So if you're in utility locating, GPR4, archaeology, GPR4, agriculture, GPR4, forestry. If you're in, if you are in concrete scanning, you should be reading forestry. I'm telling you, you should be reading forestry because there's so many parallels between forestry and concrete scanning. Here's an example. In order to understand the diameter of a rebar, they're doing this kind of work on, under, you know, on trying to evaluate and, and, and estimate the diameter or circumference of roots that are buried. As, very similar. Or if you're doing concrete scanning, they are taking concrete scanners and riding them up the trunk of a tree to identify disease, right? The same 100,000 uh, megahertz antenna you know, 1600 megahertz antenna, 2000 megahertz antenna. Those are the antennas you're using if you're in concrete scanning. So go read some forestry, right? Go to Google, put that in, and read something else that you have never learned about but about GPR. 
I'm telling you, once you do it too, you're going to not be able to say, you're going to, I think most of you, like me, are going to get hooked. We're all kind of dorks if you use GPR anyway. So you're going to get hooked and you're going to start reading even more widely and other kinds of case studies uh, about GPR. So that's my motivation for you. Go out and do this. Always be working towards being better, right? Learn every day something. And in this case, I want you to go and read something that's not your typical industry. In the comments below, I want you to put in what industry or what discipline or what application of ground penetrating radar you're going to search for. And then if you see somebody else's comment and they put in something that's in your industry, like so if you're an archaeologist, go and read something from concrete scanning, go and read something from utility locating. And utility locators and concrete scanners comment on their on their comments, reply to their comments with maybe something that that is your recommendation. So I wanted some interaction here. Please, I mean, put it in. If you're watching this, don't be one of the one out of a hundred. I mean, if you're watching this, put in what your what industry you're going to go uh, research this week and comment on somebody else's uh, um, with maybe a, a, an example that 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 they can they they can look at. So thank you so much. I appreciate you always giving me your attention and your time. Uh, I hope you're having a great week, an awesome week. Uh, you know, I hope, I hope you have a wonderful week. This is Monday today as I'm as I'm filming this, but uh, um, I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, right? We are going to start putting even more videos every single week on this YouTube channel. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you haven't done so yet, go over to learngpr.com and put in your name and email address and you'll get our free training video and we'll send you these videos to your inbox every single week. So thanks so much. Go ahead out there and GPR everything you can and, uh, and I'll speak to you soon.